morning, John. Hey, morning, Jerry. How's it going, man? Oh, uh, not much. What you getting into today? Oh, I don't know. I was thinking maybe we could play a game. What kind of game? Uh, it could be a board game. What do you think? Ah! Oh, ah! Fucking sick! I am a fucking genius! I'm a professional! Land before time, motherfucker. Miss. Ah! Now you go and I don't get any more, so shut up! Jerry! No! Trump got elected president! Okay. Chuck gets a star in coins! Okay. All the bad people win! Huh? John, you okay, bro? Yeah, let's play the board game. What could possibly go wrong? Right? Welcome, everybody. On today's episode of Roommates and Board, we're gonna get... Fancy. Yeah. Hi. Zach Swasta. He's a good friend of ours. You may remember him. <laughs> Zach is a friend of ours from our Factory Boys days. He's been a fan of ours since high school, I believe he has told me. Is that right, Zach? Yes, I've been a fan of you guys since you were in high school and I was like, I don't know, fourth grade. <laughs> At least. We've been teaching him the art of comedy and bad words ever since. Yeah. Today, we're gonna to be starting with the New Yorker cartoon caption game. I have played this with my family over Christmas. It is a fun little game for all ages above 18, probably. On today's episode, and on all episodes of Roommates and Board, we have a stipulation of the swear jar. This is mostly for me because I'm a psycho. We are starting with $1,000 Monopoly money. For every swear we do, we drop in $100 to the swear jar, and if you run out of money, you automatically lose, even if you're still playing the game. You could be in the lead. So you're just you basically out money, taken out of the game? You're done. You're bankrupt. You don't have a penny to rub together with another penny. And then you wind up in the homeless part of New York. It, yeah, and you don't want that. Zach Swasta will also be joining us. Here is your money, Zach. You can use at any participating Goofy Goober store. Yank. And we are ready. Are you excited, Zach? Yes, I am. Are you fans ready for us to play Roommates on Board? Well, too bad! Because we're not. Bye! <laughs> the rules are pretty simple if you've ever played Loaded Questions. Basically, um, the oldest player will be the first judge, so I guess that's me. The judge draws the top three cartoon cards and chooses their favorite. I'm just going to draw the top. I place it on the easel. You guys look at the caption, and you f or the picture, rather, and you come up with your own caption for that card. That's pretty much how it goes. First one to win five rounds is the winner. All right, Zach, I will show it to you first. Now, remember, the caption at the bottom, you're just looking at the picture. <laughs> Why do they show Use the your binoculars. Why? Why do they put the caption at the bottom? Is it supposed to be, like, what's closest to it? No, you don't have to be closest to it. It's just like... <laughs> hey, this is my fancy goggles. This is my fancy... I'm using my fancy goggles today. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Invisible monocle. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. How am I gonna work with that? Uh, I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> uh, shit. Taki mushrooms. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so no. What do you think, Zach? Uh, because that's a Spy Kids reference. I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna go with Jared's on this one. All out. Remember guys, the object is not to be the funniest, it's to be the funniest. <laughs> so good luck. Let's go with the special guest today, Zach. What is your caption? I just said, I'm a bop chew. <gasps> I'm a bop chew. It looks like he's gonna like pull the the ball thing back and like bam him like with like, like a tetherball game. Napoleon Dynamite style, what you got, Jared? Yeah. I wrote down, if I had played the race card, I'm sure I would have got one too. <laughs> There's one's a white cat, one's a black cat. Bringing race into everything. I like Zach's because the simplistic, uh, simplicity of it, I'm a bop you, bop you. But I mean, I gotta give it to Jared. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Didn't I wonder what the, the caption card. did say. The caption just says... Just take it easy, it's the weekend. I don't get it. It's, it's lame. It's lame. You don't even need to read these. Put it back. You actually, you get to keep it. Yeah, that's what I, that's that's what what I thought. thought. So from now on, I'm just gonna put it right in the easel. So we don't even look at the caption, just ignore the caption. 
It's a guy repairing a car with a woman looking at him, I believe. Okay. I got nothing. Welcome to me and Zach's world <laughs> in the first round. But hey, I played this before y'all, all right? I was coming up with nothing before you were born. I hate the autofocus. Ugh. Focus the f*** up. Oh! Uh, there it is. There it is. See, when I get frustrated. There we go. Don't. You got a catch in there, Zach? Zach? Are you good, Zach? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was asking, do you have your caption? Yeah, I got my caption. All right. Uh, we'll start with me this time. Thelma and I are taking it up to the mountains. You think you could speed it up a little? Hmm. Re reference to Thelma I, and Louise. She made me think of Thelma, uh, like Thelma and Louise with the trench coat the and glasses. I think the mechanic's mouth was open. Was it? All right, what you got, Zach? Uh, moments before her trip to the auto shop took all weekend. Basically, I'm saying that uh, they spent all weekend together, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, I have to give it to Sean. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Say. Sorry, Zach. Makes sense. Okay, Zach, it is now your turn. You get to judge this one, sir. I don't know if you can see that with your binoculars. It appears to be two people in a pipe. <laughs> That's like a giant snake skin. The caption is so dumb. I'll just read the caption. God, you know what? You're sweet, but I just gotta have a long thing. Ha ha, get it? I think that's probably the funny, like, the only joke I've gotten so far from the cards. Um, okay, cool. So me and Jared have to come up with a caption to impress Zach. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. All right, so for this one, we'll, we'll read it up. We'll, we'll hold it up to Zach and see if he can read our captions on the uh, screen. That tunnel of love sucked. <laughs> Wait, you only date those who are comfortable in their own skin? Oh! Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Jared on this one. Yeah, he deserved it. That was good. <laughs> yeah, he did the good thing. Like, he took what I had previously had and run off that. That was good. That was good. God damn it! <laughs> That's, uh, I should have thought of that. That's why he wins, because he validated my observations. Damn it! Is that what you want? You want to be validated? All right, I'll yes, it is. I do want to be validated. Thank you. I want to feel loved in my own skin. Oh, too late. You can't make that joke already. It's been taken. Can't use that one anymore. Toss. That's littering. <laughs> All right, now I'm judging. And... It's another cat. <laughs> it's another... I keep getting all the cat ones. What? Because I own a cat, what I guess. It's like, I, what are they even doing? They're just like sitting there. One of them is, looks kind of fluffier, like a little more messed up than the other, the chubbier one. His fur is like kind of messed up, yeah. Like, is, is that what the caption's about, or, is it, or are they just like saying something stupid? I went the entire day without any human interaction. Yeah, I don't. I don't even get the joke of that. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like a relatable kind of thing where for introverts. I guess. Yeah, I guess he's supposed or, to look for extroverts or something like that. Yeah, he's supposed to look haggard. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. This is this kind of this is kind of hard one because it's just talking. It's human interaction. What are you supposed to do? You're like that cat on the caption card. I went the entire day without human interaction. Zach Zach's not a fan of speed dating, guys. Uh, yeah, not not after uh, not after that last time. Flashback to last time. I'm 11 years old. Oh God. All right, Jared's caption is maybe your human should have used more fabric softener. Cause the cat's like all wrinkly and stuff. We we got it. We okay. got it. Zach, what you got? <laughs> you just don't want me to win this. I just said want to run out into the street and die. <laughs> We got racism, and then we got suicide. Welcome to the first episode of Roommates and Born. I just think deep inside, cats are just suicidal. They're always getting into stupid shit that will kill them. Ah! Oh, there we go. Oh, sorry. So how do we keep track? So, well, so this is his money right over here. So Zach how, puts in... How will in, we tell the difference? Uh, because there's piles. <laughs> there's piles. Piles? Piles? A crap ton of piles. So many piles! Piles! 
Okay. Okay, okay. cool. So Zach is down to 900. I'm down to 900. You're a good boy. And <laughs> let's move on. So Zach wins that one, by the way. Oh, I win? I win? You won. Yay, put it in my pile of representing me. Pile? 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 Pile! Pile! That's the word of the day. Ah! All right, it's Moses basically addressing to the peasants. Oh, 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 yay, religious jokes. <laughs> he got way too excited about that. The caption says, yes, chocolate's okay in moderation. Next question. Oh my god, that's so dumb. That's, a, that's, that's more like an in-joke. For Catholicism. So we'll start with uh, Zach first. I leave for five minutes and you guys already violated the seventh commandment. <laughs> what's, uh, what's the seventh commandment again? Thou shalt not commit adultery. <laughs> <laughs> five, only five minutes? You, in the back with the mixed fabrics. Hope you like hell. <laughs> Yeah, it was a dumb one. If you wear mixed fabrics, you're also supposed to go to hell. You can't wear mixed matching fabrics. I don't even. I don't even get that. I remember reading about that. It doesn't make sense. Mixed what? Like cotton with wool or something, or something like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That make, it's like, well, everything's factory That's, made. I I think uh, mine's okay, but I gotta give it to Zach. Yeah, I agree. Know. Yeah, Zach, Zach is pretty good. Thank you. Woohoo! Gets another point. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's actually a play on like a little parody of the Ted Commandments I once conceived of like you remember how like he comes back and they're worshiping a gold cow oh okay i got gotcha. you play on that i want i leave to get to make the 10 commandments and you already violated the first one and they f it damn it <laughs> i was gonna say then he breaks it then he like breaks the tablets i have here the 11 commandments <laughs> yeah 10 commandments 15 commandments get it right Stop putting your scarf up like your Catherine O'Hara in Schitt's Creek. I can say that because that's the name of the show. Uh, so it's a clothing store for babies. <laughs> and the joke is that it's hard to... What's the joke? It's difficult to attract a younger customer when our main demographic is babies. Okay, I think I... Okay, I got it. Yeah, I'm lost. I can't think anything. And the cap and the card is in front of you, too. I know it is. Poor Zach, you only had to look at for a second. You're over here like... I know. Well, here's the thing. I came up with one almost instantly, so... What does that say about my intellect? You think you're better than us? Is that right? <laughs> well, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? You say that to my, my tie. You say that to my tie. I mean, you're my better? tie's a... I have a zip tie, so I'm fancy. Wait a minute. Hold on. Are you guys wearing fedoras? Yes. Oh, wait. Hold on. You got one, don't oh, you? I think I do. I just don't want to get up and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, He's you too lazy. Com He's too comfy. No, I'm too wired. I'm too like wired down because of all this. Sh sh all right. Ah! Ah! Uh. Ah! Another hundred dollars from you. Eight hundred. I match with Sean. This is Zach's hundred dollars. That's Zach. This is his hundred dollars going in the switch. You're tied with me. How do you feel about that? How I feel? How do you feel? Like a hundred bucks. <laughs> down the toilet. Here's so I got nothing. This sucks. All right, you automatically get a hundred dollars taken from you That's for a lot for a long for taking too long. <laughs> that was not set in the rules. Hey, hey okay, new rule. No, you, you deserve a hundred dollars taken from you. It's called a standing fee. Okay, he's got a fedora. We're all fedora brothers. Uh, yeah, I know. I mean, I, I, it looks a little ridiculous on me because I have these big ass headphones. You look like um. What do you look like? Let's see. What's he look like? I don't know what he looks like. I look like someone wearing a fedora over giant headphones. There you go. That's the perfect description. So I said, maybe we'd have more customers if we had more than nine outfits. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, there's only a few hanging around there. Jerry, let's see. <laughs> Do you think Dan will be into this type of role play tonight? Oh, God. That's actually pretty good considering you said it sucked. I don't know why my mind immediately went to that. It's it's a good effort, but I still gotta give it to Zach. Alright. Sorry. Fine. Alright. I thought Jared's pretty good. Jared's was good, though. I would concede, unlike Trump. So basically, it's the king and his, I guess, his servant. They're talking, having tea inside of a house that happens to have a uh, tower. So really work with that, mother truckers. How are we supposed to work with that? You'll figure it out. I figured out how to do that one. This is like the kind of crap that you would have to caption in like those like 
ma- those like scholastic magazine things you get in elementary school. Oh, like yeah. highlights or whatever. Yeah, I miss highlights. Highlights. I haven't seen one of those in eons. Goofus thinks it's okay to kick a woman in the face. Gallon would help her to the grocery store. Hey, save it for the captioning. Goof doesn't believe in the COVID virus, so he doesn't wear a mask. <laughs> Gallon is tr- the responsible human being and doesn't want to spread the virus. He, he may be asymptomatic. Up. Stranger Things is into its fourth season, so Rapunzel stopped trying to escape. <laughs> he remodeled. Did anyone tell you that your guard tower looks like a dick? <laughs> Damn it! Damn it, it's so simple and yet so good! That's me for you. Damn. Uh, go with Zach on this yeah, one. Yeah, he deserves it. Damn, I gotta start thinking more dick jokes. Zach is up to four. He is one away from winning. Ooh, I'm fancy. Jared has two. I have two. We gotta catch up to this jerk. <laughs> we do. <laughs> jerk of a guest. What a way to welcome in more guests. Oh, I know, just right? calling names. Come on in, you bunch jerk of... Jerk face. So am, I, am I just here to lose to you guys? Yeah, pretty much. That's why we invited you to embarrass you on live TV. <laughs> live TV? What? This ain't TV. It will be. <laughs> Is that what, who's watching, though? This will send a message to all friends. How we treat our fans. Yeah. We're watching you. You're out there. And Zach froze. Zach, come back. Uh, oh, there he is. He's back. Uh, the joke is, sorry we missed the heist. We got sidetracked when Roscoe smelled some truffles. It's another man on a horse and two other men on horses who are eating beans, I think, by a fire. It kind of looks like he's riding a pig. Oh, is that what it is? It might be a pig, yeah. Next explains the truffles part. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not capturing this. All right, I got my stupid ass... Ca- yeah, I can say ass. My stupid ass caption. <sighs> Caption. Stupid ass caption. You suck, you jackass. That's my Happy Gilmore reference for the day. For the day. For the day. But tomorrow, there'll be another one. Oh, good. <laughs> Can't wait. So it was, so you're so it was the couple of robbers. One of them is on a pig. Yeah, one's on a pig. I stole the piggy bank. <laughs> <laughs> it's so lame and yet so intelligent. Yeah. Because... What did you say? Wait! What'd you say? That's all well and good, but have either of you successfully robbed the first national piggy bank? Oh! <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh! So yours is a little more elaborate. Yes. But it's the that's, same that's deal. I... That's amazing wow. we came up with that. I mean, what else can you think from that? I know, right? You guys are what? plagiarists. We plagiarized each like other. Me. Oh yeah, which one of you sounds the smartest? <laughs> well, gee, I wonder. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this to Sean. Just what? Like his simplicity. What? Yeah, he likes simple. He likes simple. He came up with a dick joke. Hey, you got credit for a dick joke, or you gave him credit for a dick joke, and that's what you get. See? <laughs> Poor Jared. He was like, uh, yeah. I mean, that's just how it came out. I was like, I stole the piggy bank. <laughs> I immediately thought of, like, oh, I stole from my mom's purse. My name is Timmy Turner, and I cheated on my math test. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there are fairly odd parents quotes, too. The caption says, can we go five minutes without you checking on your flower? That's so... What? If the robot checking on the human, it'd be kind of like parallel opposite of, um... Of a phone, right? Well, what's the robot have to do with a flower? Yeah, seriously. That's what Maybe. I don't get. Do you know? Can I phone a friend here? <laughs> no outside help. Okay, my dumb joke is done. Are you ready, Zach? I am ready. All right, then we'll start with Zach. The last organic thing left after the uprising. Just kill it already. <laughs> <laughs> but C7183, I love it. All right, my dumb joke. When I said I wanted to be deflowered, this isn't what I had in mind. Give it back. So we got like Terminator. Terminator and sex joke. And they're both good. They're both good. They're they're both pretty good. It's so hard to choose this one. I won't be insulted if you pick Zach, but remember I'm your roommate, so. Do you want to give the game to, I mean. Yeah, I'll give give the game to Zach. Give the game to Zach, all right. Zach wins. You're so nice. You guys are so nice. This was really good though, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, if it was so good, then why'd you choose Zach? 
Because it was nice and wholesome. You just wanted the game. You just wanted the game to end, didn't you? I believe <laughs> Zach wins the first, the inaugural episode of Board Roommates and Board. The roommates didn't win this one, and we only so so far in our journey, me and Zach have lost two hundred dollars. Jared has lost nothing. So you win the the swear competition. Good job. What do I win? Actually, you didn't win yet because we got one more game to play. Dorothy's surname in The Wizard of Oz. Even I know this one. What is it then? Gale. Dorothy oh, yeah. Gale? I've never heard that. You know what? I'm taking money out of my account because that is the biggest pile of bullshit I've ever seen. 